talent out there. It's a redshirt senior on the bump, and Ethan Landon starts his second frame with strike one against a freshman for the Buckeyes in Dylan Dingler, who is a natural catcher but makes his 22nd straight start in center field for Ohio State. Well, you and I were talking about the ability that Greg Beals has had to get a lot of athletes that happen to be playing behind the plate. Danny Gleaves comes on the RA, and he was great in the Big Ten tournament two years ago. To the Big Ten championship, a tournament championship that year. Lost to a tough Michigan team. Great pick by Zach Iverson, who rises and releases and gets Dingler. Breaking ball for strike one. Catcher playing center field, a former three sports star in high school. Something else, use different muscles. You don't really see those injuries. You'll get to know me better. Dinglin slaps that one foul. <laughs> Another one two to Dingler. Had to go upstairs with the fastball. Ohio State in all four runs with a couple outs in these innings in which. Swing and a miss. Off speed from the 1 0 pitch. Check swing, roller toward third. Iverson on the run, low throw, and McGuire digs it out to keep play by it. McCauley falling down. Second and third, Dylan Dingler swings at the first pitch, drops it down in right field. McGowan in from third. He's falling off of the Spartans right here. McCauley, fastball in, and how about getting your hands inside the ball? Placing it where Stay good defense for the Wolverines early on. Yeah, great job. And, and when you're not scoring a lot of runs or getting a lot of hits, you need the leather to help you out. Takeo Thomas ranging to his left and then a nice corner stab. Dylan Dink. The line drive to right will bring in the run and give them the lead. It's 2-1 OSU. Oh, score and Dylan Dingler for Ohio State rips that thing over the head of the center fielder who was in playing in, and this is going to be a three-bagger for him. Yeah, once he got by it, Mazinga, it was an easy three-bagger, but it now back up to 100%. Ground ball. Infante will scoop. That's good. Nobody's there to cover first, and the run will score. That's an off-speed pitch that stays high. Five innings of work yesterday. Here comes the 1-0 to the bottom of the ninth inning yesterday. And he swings. Oakley, your runner at first base. He's not going. The one run game that Ohio State prevailed in 7 to 6. Last. Knox Preston with two outs in the bottom of the ninth. That swung on and hit in the air towards center field. Actually, the left fielder, Ty Jones, is going to camp under it in left to Senzo, your runner at first. Two outs. That one's just off a senior day victory for Coach Acuff and the Bisons. Complete. Two balls, no strike to count on Dylan Dingler. He swings, grounds this towards third baseman Preston. He's up with it and throws to second for the force out there. And the base is empty and two outs. But Ohio State now leading two to one. And that's a schedule. The Buckeyes are about to embark on a tour of the Atlantic Sun Conference. Mm -hmm. Half the A-Sun Conference here in their early season. That's a fastball. Hosting Rutgers for a three-game series. A-Sun is A-Sun. Here comes the 2-2 pitch to Dingler. Swung on and hit foul down the third base line to start their season before they get home to host Liberty. Swung on and hit again towards Moore. Up, oh, gets under his glove, and that's going to get into... Left field, Jones is going to cut it off, and Dingler's going to make a wide turn. Here comes the 1-2, runner going. Here's the throw from Bertolani, and he's going to throw him out. And he misses down, caught stealing in the fifth inning. That an Ohio one. State team that won the Big Ten tournament last year and an 8-2 and start to the season. So Back on the outfield grass a couple steps. Here comes the 3-0. And they're going to say that. And he swings through that one, gets away from Bertolani. He goes over and gloves it, throw to second, and not in time. So, velocity. Ross Kelly hits this one in the air, struck well out to center, but Dingler backs up, and that ends the bottom of the first. Right there, go. Ross Kelly does take off as Bikina drills it out to deep left center. Dingler tracks it down for out number one. Base. Easy out. And now Iverson lifts it in the air out to center. A backpedaling Dylan Dingler ends the inning. Speeding up the game. And Tonsic gets under this one. Into shallow center. Dingler enters into the fray. And he ends the, up the middle and into center. 
Bakina hesitated around second on his way to third, and there are runners at the, on the outfield. Out towards center. All three outfielders. Here comes the run home. And just chokes this fastball into the dirt. Dingler not able to handle it. Kind of tries to backstab it instead of getting down and really trying to block that ball. 7.71. I've been impressed with a walk to start the inning. So he'll bat now with nobody out and a runner on first and six strikeouts on the season. That's a breaking ball. It's going to get down in the dirt. Adams is going to try to advance, and he's going to be under the tag. Yeah, that ball hit the Williams. One out, one run in, one nothing. Lipscomb, Dingler behind the plate. Here comes the 1 2, and that's out. Here comes the 2 2, and he swings through the breaking ball for strike three. That's a fastball on the inside corner. Here comes the 0 1 pitch. That's another fastball through there at 90 ball win. Here's the 0 2. And he's going to get him on a strike three. Swung on and foul back. Yeah, the Bisons won 30 games last year, 30 and 25 on the season. That's a breaking ball. Three out of the past four tournaments for this program. That's swung on and fouled up. It's behind the plate. Dingler's trying to draw a beat on it. He throws the mask away, and he's going to retire Jones for the first out of the One. inning for the double play. So two outs now, bases empty from Malik Williams, and that one's going to bounce in so far, playing in the bottom of the third inning. Here comes the 1 2. Check to swing. Did he not? Nope. They're going to say he went. Top of the seventh, and Jacksonville leads Austin P. 5 to nothing in the sixth. Swings through. And I believe that's all of the A Sun scores that we have. Swings through that one. Four strike three, so Shields Stays is down. 0 oh 1. Swing and a mess. It's 0 oh 2. He'll let that one. Here it goes. Out. Oh, they called that one a strike. I was about to say outside. Three runs and seven hits, and two of those runs earned. Here comes the 0-2 to Houghton. Checks his swing. Did he go? And they say he did. Mm -hmm. Lipscomb leading Ohio State 3-2. to two. That's going to bounce away from the catcher, Dingler, and that's going to allow Williams to get over to second base. So. That one's going to bounce as well. That was a 93-mile-an-hour fastball and a really good play by Dingler there to keep it in front of him. Here comes the 2-1 to Preston. Checks his swing and takes a breaking ball down low. And he swings through a fastball for strike three. Here comes the 0-1. And that one's going to bounce up there. Again, a 91 mile pitching hour. talent for this Buckeyes team. Here's the 1-1. That one's going to bounce. It's going to get away from Dingler. And that's going to let the game as well as autograph from the Bisons players. Here's the 2-1. And he swung through it. Here comes the 2-2 to Watson and third base. And here comes the payoff. And that's going to bounce as well. There you go. 